everyone, and welcome to Red United TV. It's your boy, Ivor and Spice, back at it again with another match reaction, guys. And first of all, if you're new to this channel, remember to subscribe, smash that like button, and remember to share because sharing Ivor and Spice is caring. And of course, those who are watching, big up to you, man. If you want to contribute to this channel, you can always contribute to this channel. Click in the link description down below and also join me live on the on the live show on Monday, 8 p.m. To send your super chats to help contribute as well, help improve the content quality. But guys, let's get straight into it. Oh, it is your match reaction, and I'm glad to say this. It is Brentford 1, Manchester United 3. Manchester United collecting three points at Brentford Community Stadium. Yes, Manchester United have done it. The most difficult game that I thought that we would have to face today I was nervous. I know you guys were nervous thinking, bloody hell, going to breakfast ain't going to be easy. We've seen Arsenal get moved to. We've seen them get moved to. Yep. A lot of the big boys went there, had some problems. But yes, Manchester United delivered some points today with a wonderful performance in the second half. Second half was magnificent, guys. Make sure you smash a lap button if you felt that the second half was magnificent for Manchester United. Woo! Brentford, right now, the bees. Guess what? You got the bees that up here, bro. You got the you got killed, bro. We gave it to Brentford United or today, Brentford Football Club, whatever it is, man. I have to say, big up to the players as well. Big up to the players that carried on. Ralph Ragnar, the way he set up the team. The four three three guys was in action, and we got to see it. On in the system for the first time. And boy, oh boy, I have to say, the first 45 minutes was crazy. It was mad, guys. Whew. It, the first five minutes was tough. You know, Brentford was all over us. They were over us. They were getting corners and, and et cetera, and et cetera. Uh, of course, come, again, in the, in the first half, which I thought Brentford had so many chances against us. We wasn't creating anything, any clear cut chances in the first 45 minutes. We were passing like pum pums as always. Manchester United have always struggled to pass, to complete passes. And, and again, and it showed in the first 45 minutes. And I was thinking, God, man, when are we ever going to get it right? And we did eventually get it right in the second half, guys. Wonderful from the guys as well. But again, back into the first 45 minutes, uh, again, I regarding the passing, we really need to improve on that. And then, whew, second half came. When Manchester United came out stronger, passing the ball really well, of course, doing things quickly. The first goal coming out of nowhere, Anthony Elenga himself scoring a wonderful goal. Um, Elenga... Wonderful cross by Fred himself. Frederick, Pastor Fred, I have to say, guys. Pastor Fred is doing his thing, you know. He's getting his assist these days. He's getting involved, getting forward and, and etc. McTominay as well did his thing. But back to Pastor Fred. Pastor Fred crossing the ball into the path of Anthony Elenga. Elenga taking the first touch and then heading the ball in the net. Wonderful fourth, wonderful goal for then setting Manchester United up for the win. McTominay in that 4 3 3 system again. He's the one that sat deep, which makes sense. You're a centre back for Scotland and, and you're playing in midfield. And midfield in Manchester, if you can't make midfield in your own country, Scotland, they play you same. And they say, you know what? You can play at the back because you can defend well. And that's what they did. They defended well, you know. That's, when, that's what he did as well. Scott McTominay playing holding in that 4 3 3. And uh, with Fred and Bruno doing their thing. But again, guys, that second goal coming. Woo! McTominay, McSauce winning the ball back, passing. No, 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 sorry. Not even McTominay, I'm sorry. Cristiano Ronaldo. Those that I say that Cristiano Ronaldo and Bruno Fernandes cannot play. Cristiano Ronaldo chesting the ball to Bruno Fernandes. For Bruno Fernandes to just get Manchester United on the break. Sliding it into Mason Greenwood from Greenwood to just tap it in and Greenwood getting his sixth goal of the season. Manchester United still hasn't scored from a set piece. 110, 15 set pieces, zero, which is so embarrassing, guys. But yes, back to that game. Manchester United then eventually making it 3-0. McSauce today, 
like Mayo, as always, for me, yes, winning the ball back, passing it to, of course, Bruno Fernandes, to give a second assist, sliding the ball to Mark Rashford. Mark Rashford with a simple finish. Rashford, for, for some reason, was upset. He didn't want to smile too much, you know. McTominay grabbed him by the ear and head and said, Yoko, bro, get there and celebrate. How dare you show frown faces? Nah, 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 nah. I ain't having that. Well, you saw Rashford with a cheeky little smile, but it was false. Mm, you know, it was false. But then Brentford scoring, making it 3 1. Um, Ivan Tony set piece. Manchester United struggling to get the, um, the, the sorry, struggling to get a clean sheet, which is annoying. You know, we've defended so well today. We won a lot of things, but it is what it is. Full-time Manchester United winning the game 3-1. I'm so happy, guys. You guys let me know how you feel because it, it was a good victory because it was a game again we fought. Brentford, ah, it's going to hurt our brains today. It's going to be a tough one. And Manchester United ended up going through that game on scale, you know. We conceded a lot of chances, but in that second half, that's where we want it. That's what a great team needs to do these days, you know. If you want to be that great team, we need to do that. Players, they did all right. I thought Bruno did well. David De Gea was David De Gea, saving us with his feet so many times. And Lengard did what he had to do, got his goal. I'm glad for him. Tomine done well as well. Ronaldo, mm, Fred as well was all right. But man, the match for me today, guys, got to be to Diego Dalot. Defensively solid. Going forward, passing and etc. Winning the ball back to eh! Dalot, my friend. You are the shit today. But he definitely was man in the match. Don't kill the match today. I'm going to have to give it to Cristiano Ronaldo. He was poor. He wasn't involved too tough. And he came off storming. And big up to Rad Ragnar to console him and say, you know what? It's, it's, it's okay. Like, calm down. Like, you don't need to be upset. You see? We just scored three goals. Before you know, you see? Yeah, it's okay. You're, you're 36. Calm down. But Ronaldo's thinking, you substitute me for a dead guy. The fridge. Harry Maguire. You've insulted me. My kids are watching. Ralph, my kids are watching. And he saw me get substituted off. From Maguire out of everyone else. Come on, at least let me come off for Donny van der Beek, at least so he can get some game time. It's under my merit and I can claim for it, you know. But yes, guys, it is what it is. Manchester United, Alex, it's three points in the bag. You know, hopefully we can cut the points to fourth place, but it's going to take us a while. It's, it's going to take us a long time. For guys, you know, this has been your match reaction by Ivory Spice. Let me know who your man in the match was, your donkey of the match, and who, uh, as well, your thoughts on the game as well, and who, what else do you like about the game. But, yeah, again, catch me again for tomorrow for your match reaction for Ivory Coast's last game on the group stage, third game against Algeria. La Le Le we need to win, guys. But as always, guys, I'm going to head off because I am tired. Yes, as always, guys, remember to keep it united. Remember to keep it red united. And remember to follow the socials because your boy, I've is a spice is out. Peace.